So, uh, just want to let you know that we're doing something different. Uh, we are acquiring some different meats that you would normally hunt or fish, and most of the ones we're getting are going to be either hunted or fished by someone we know or ourselves. We haven't started up on the hunting videos, but just want to let you know this channel is not always going to be fishing, camping, hiking, eventually hunting and trapping. We might do some trapping. We're going to do some outdoor cooking, and we're going to learn ourselves different methods to show you guys as well. But tonight it's nothing crazy. Um, we are here at the lake. Uh, we're going to cook outdoors and just show people that you don't have to be inside a kitchen to do these things. Um, we're going to make some deer meat tacos, and I'm telling you, this is a hell of a cook, so I know they're going to be bomb. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. Hope you guys are too. And I'm going to take you through the process. And let's just make some deer meat tacos and enjoy. Let us know if you like these videos, and we'll do more of them. But uh, let's do it. Let's get to her. She's down over here. <laughs> Come see my kitchen. <laughs> we are doing a bit of car camping again. And this time the setup is a little bit different. We're on the sand again. I don't love the sand, it's a little hard to uh, cut veggies. But tonight we have some deer meat ground. We're gonna try some deer tacos. So I have set up, you guys, as you can see, my little station here. We've got our all natural soap, got a clean bait towel down there. Wash your hands, do your dishes. Other than that, I have my little cutting board set up. All the nifty things that I need. Get some deer tacos. Don't mind what I'm gonna do with that. I might sneak some bait later and see. You know how I feel about my jello chicken. <laughs> So there I have just roughly a pound of deer meat, probably a little bit more. Two packets of taco seasoning. I cut up one bell pepper that put in there and a little bit of onion. I cut mine pretty fine because Jeremy likes the taste of it, but not the crunch. So we're gonna cook this really good, you guys. I did not add water to it because as you know, when I cook with the griddle, I cook with a lot of water. It's a little harder to regulate that temperature, that heat. So I cook with a lot of water. And probably my biggest saving grace is, believe it or not, this cover. <laughs> I love it. You just put it on there. I put a little water under there, put this on top of it. It'll steam it without burning it. Um, let's give it a go. Okay. While we're letting that marinate, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some fixins for our tacos. I have tomato. We have lettuce, we have cheese, and uh, taco sauce, jalapenos, because you gotta have it a little spicy, sour cream. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and get the sides kind of fixed and put in a pan so it's really convenient. We're chasing the sunset now, ladies and gentlemen. six pound fish but that was a rush you guys now back to sour cream got my meat marinated roughly about 30 minutes but then a fish bit so it might have been a little bit longer but that's good jeremy saved the day because i got it ticked off at the grill okay we'll resume once that warms up a bit honestly so far this smells and looks like beef so <laughs> <laughs> i've never had your tacos me either but i sure love backstraps so 
Looking good. That looks good, you guys. I can smell that taco seasoning and I'm stoked. So, I'm gonna get this in the pan and I'm just gonna lightly fry up the tortillas and we are gonna grub out. Alrighty, just eating up the tortillas quick. That looks good, okay? It I does. have to say that. It does look really good. I'm gonna try just a bit of this meat before we actually put it on the but No, it tastes exactly like taco meat. Really? <laughs> yeah, it does. It looks like beef. It smelled like beef and literally tastes like taco meat. Like taco meat doesn't even taste like meat, right? It's like it's, its own like brand. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so it literally tastes exactly like taco meat and it's delicious. <laughs> and taco sauce. Yes. That looks good. It does. Eat it. And we're eating it with <laughs> chips and salsa. Of course. Can't have a fiesta without chips and salsa. That's not. <laughs> Whoa. Yes. I'm stoked. Me too. Okay, let's eat. Alrighty, your turn. <laughs> My turn. I'm trying to get in the taco though. I already know it's gonna be good because you're a good cook. <laughs> no. I do love tacos though. That's really good. Like tell me that doesn't just taste like taco yeah, meat. It does. Like yeah. happy with it? Very. We'll do this again. <laughs> <laughs> Minnie. Is it your turn? <laughs> What do you think? You think it tastes like beef? Mini approved. Or do you prefer raw fish? Oh shoot, oh shoot. Get after it, girl. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, definitely we all approve. You guys, I keep this part super simple. Dirty water, clean water, natural soap, paper towel. <laughs> clean bait towel. Just go through, scrub your dishes, rinse them off, dry them off. We'll be set up for breakfast.